Do you think Kipchoge can break two hours in, let's, let's count it out. This is really important. And away we go, ladies and gentlemen, right into the studio. Here's my turbos, the original turbos, not the turbo twos that I picked up in 2018. I wore these on my run today. I'm not gonna talk about my run though. I'm gonna resist because we got we gotta get down to business. It's 159 challenge week, Ineos 159 challenge week with Elliot Kipchoge over in Vienna. That's right, this Saturday, if the weather holds up, it's incredible. I can't, I can't believe it's uh it's it's finally happening. I wonder. What's going through Elliot's mind right now? I'm sure, knowing Elliot, he's very, very focused. Okay, four months ago, when it was announced that this was happening, I asked this. So Kipchoge's going for it again. Again, the key numbers for this vlog is 159 down in the comments. And the question of the day, we're diving right into it today. Do you think Kipchoge can break two hours in, let's, let's count it out. This is really important. June, July. August, September, October. We're talking five months. Can Kipchoge get so dialed in and get, frankly, he needs to get 25 seconds faster, at least, obviously, and then some to play it safe. Can't, will Kipchoge do it? And so here's a few of your responses from the question of the day four months ago. I haven't forgotten about your answers, okay? Here we go, from Mike. Yes, I think Kipchoge can do it. I don't know how far below two he can get, but I'm going to guess 159.47. That's from Mike. From Drew, okay? With the astonishing fitness Kipchoge has been showing in recent years, it won't be a surprise at all if he breaks two hours. Uh, I think he will run 159.52. And one more from Nick. Here we go. I think he runs well for 35K, loses some time between 35 and 40K, then rallies in the home stretch to come up just short. That and, and he says his prediction time is two hours and two seconds, but I hope he gets it. That's from Nick. So, uh, Nick, you might be the realist in the group, frankly. Like, there was a lot of predictions saying that he will run under two hours. So since that question of the day, four months ago, I do believe we've basically doubled the number of subscribers here. Welcome, by the way. We're gonna ask it again. Question of the day, does Elliot Kipchoge break two hours? If so, or if not, what time does he run? What is your prediction? And if you have like a little thesis behind why that time, let us know. I'm gonna give my thoughts here in a minute later in the vlog. So that's the question of the day. And also remember four months ago, we did not know the location or the, the official date. We thought everyone suspected early October, but frankly, I, I think the, the, the rumor or the buzz was London originally. So when I heard Vienna, I was a little surprised. Uh, so keep that in mind. It's going to be in Vienna October 12th. So now let's talk about this. If you've been on the Ineos 159 Challenge website, you see, or on their social media, you see there's a window. So from the, the window for Elliot Kipchoge to attempt to break two hours is between October 12th, this Saturday, and October 20th, the su Sunday, uh, the following Sunday, the day of my Amsterdam marathon. So I'm hoping it's not October 20th. And the reason there is such a large window is because when Kipchoge attempted the two hour, uh, breaking two hours two years ago in Monza, Italy, the weather was a little humid, according to some reports that I've been reading recently. The, the weather was good, but it wasn't perfect. So I think, I don't think, I know in Vienna, it sounds like they're going to wait for the perfect day. Now we're going to talk about the weather here in a second, uh, but that is the window that it's going to be attempted. And it's crazy like that it's such a big window. I'm obviously hoping that uh, it's, it is October 12th because I arrive in Vienna on October the morning of October 11th, and I don't want it to be pushed too far, too close to Amsterdam. Now it's October 6th right now when I'm recording this, so we're still six days out. I would, I would say by Tuesday, they're gonna have a really good idea as far as what the weather should look like on Saturday. Uh, so it's a little early, but according to the weather that I'm looking at, and I'm gonna lean into the uh, local uh, Vienna, uh, people who live in Vienna or near Vienna to help out here in a second, but it looks like at 9 a.m., on October 12th, it's supposed to be 48 degrees, and then it's gonna rise up to 66 degrees by 1 p.m. Or the, I, I saw 66 to 68. Um, so that sounds pretty ideal, actually. And at this point, I don't see any rain 
in the forecast. Now, I'm not sure about wind. That's a huge factor. Oh my goodness. If it's breezy or windy at all, that's no good. So um, anyway, that is the weather report. Now, anyone that lives in Vienna, what are you seeing based on the local weather? Let us know down in the comments. That would be greatly appreciated. And now a quick update on my media accreditation or pass didn't get it. I did not receive one. I was denied. That's okay. It doesn't bum me out at all. Um, I know how to work the crowds and I will make the best of the moment uh, filming how I like to film. So I won't be, I guess I just won't have close access to Elliot is basically what's in the pacemakers, which we're going to talk about them as well in a minute. It will be live streamed, as you probably know, on YouTube. They're making a big deal about it. It's also going to be, so I was going up against the BBC, NBC Sports, uh, TV out of New Zealand and Norway. Like I looked at all the TVs. I think I saw over 30 TV stations globally that will be there filming this event. So I'm not too surprised that I didn't receive a media accreditation, but there's a quick update on that. And uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, so the question becomes, will Kipchoge go beyond his limits and or will Kipchoge go beyond what was once considered impossible at the marathon distance? No human is limited. Any human being can cope on his limits. Any human being can cope on his thoughts. No human being should be limited in his thoughts or in what he or she should be doing. Self-belief is critically crucial. Totally believe in myself. Believe in my teammates. Believe in my training. That's what pushes me beyond the bike. The last bend in the second, and he'll see the finish line ahead of him. Look at the crowds here. Elliot Kipchoge. My advice to anyone who is struggling to break his own limits is self-belief. Kipchoge is the champion again. Who sets the limits in me? Now, if that doesn't get you excited, I'm not sure what will. Oh, man, it's going to be epic. Okay, now I've heard that there's 41 or 40 or 41 pacemakers. So Kipchoge is going to be basically in the flying V formation in, right in the middle of this, this, these pacemakers who are going to help carry him to the two-hour mark or sub-two-hour mark. So I'm going to mention a few names here. I'm just reading them. Uh, Centrowitz. I didn't expect that, but that's awesome. The 1,500-meter uh, stud from the United States, Paul Chalimo. Um, let's see, who else? Lopez Lamong, who I think I actually raced in college when he was still... Oh, where did he go to call? Oh, I should know this. It wasn't NAU. Was it NAU? Oh, I, I forgive me. I'll put it on the screen right now where Lopez, or was it Syracuse? Oh, man, I'm forgetting. Anyway, Lopez Lamont, and yes, Bernard Lagat, the master. I think he just turned 40 or 41. Um, so, and he's crushing time still. I believe he just ran a marathon down in Australia, if, if I'm remembering correctly, and here's his time. So it's a big deal, Bernard Lagat's there. I am Bernard Lagat, and I'm one of the pacemakers for the Ineos 159 Challenge. I'm a five-time Olympian and a 13-time medalist at the World Championships. My role as a pacemaker is basically to be there to carry that formation in a strategic way and making sure that he gets it this time. When Elliot steps in that starting line, he will be confident because he looks in our eyes that my pacemakers are also confident and they are ready to help. When we are asked to come and help Elliot, you can't help but to be like, yes, you put your first hand like, I'm ready. When you think of the world record in a marathon is 2-0-1 by Elliot, nobody has even come close to it. This is an immense challenge, and this is the challenge that not just any model human being can do. You have to be talented, you have to have that passion, you have to have that drive, you have to have the body that responds every given day in training. The history will be made, and I believe this is the right time. Doesn't get much better than that. I just, I really love Bernard Lagat. I feel like he's just a class act. 
always a, like positive. I don't know. I think that's a great choice for a pacemaker. He was there at the end at the last attempt. I don't know if you remember the uh, National Geographic documentary and uh, where Lagat was just, and Lamong actually, they were like cheering on Kipchoge to get to the finish line. He came up, what was it, 25, 26 seconds short last time. So, okay, a couple more pacemakers, just a few. Uh, Julian Wanders from uh, the Switzerland. It looks like Jack Rayner from Australia. Uh, who else? Uh, Justus Kumute from Kenya. Oh my goodness, Victor Chumo from Kenya. And then a couple, uh, oh man, one, two, three. I'm seeing like five people from Uganda. What I'm noticing, okay, there I see one from Ethiopia. So obviously the, the, uh, the rivalry, no, two, okay, two from Ethiopia. Uh, but anyway, the rivalry between Kenya and Ethiopia uh, may, have, may have influenced a few of these picks, but I love it. It looks like a great lineup. And yes, a little change. According to reports, um, last the, the the last attempt in Monza, Italy, the car was a little t the pace car with the laser pointing the laser down onto the road to help mark the exact two hour mark um, that Kipchoge needed to stick with. It was a little too close to the the pacemaker, so it was creating a little bit of a swirl wind, I guess, and it was too late to change once they started running. So now, I guess instead of ten meters, they bumped the car to fifteen meters ahead of the pacemakers and Kipchoge. I think that's interesting, just a really small detail, but at this point in the game, to break two hours, there's like there's no there's no margin for error. That's why they're they're creating such a big window for perfect weather. That's why, you know, the nutrition needs to be spot on. That's why the, uh, the, the pacemakers need to be like really focused in the moment. So I find that fa fascinating. I read that today. Now, as far as my prediction, I am going to say he breaks two hours. But I think it's going to be it's going to be closer than I thought maybe four months ago. For some reason, I think I said 159, like high 30s. I'm going to go with closer to 159, like 48, 159, 49 right in there, maybe 159.45 is my prediction. And the reason why, here's why, is because this time in Vienna, you better get your, your running and, and walking shoes on, everybody. This is a free event. You, no tickets needed. You just show up. The crowds in Monza, Italy, two years ago, they did it on an F1 racetrack, and it was closed off like they didn't let the public in. And I think having crowds to cheer you on is the ticket it's every like i run so much better when there's people cheering me on like it's just natural for a human being to smile and be happy and joyful which i think does influence how your body responds to the hard difficult pain cave that these pacemakers and kipchoge are about to enter so um show up if you're in vienna or near vienna let's cheer on kipchoge i think it's going to be exciting literally history being made before our eyes but but everyone, this is not a world record, right? This is not a world record because it's not in an officially sanctioned race, okay? And I agree with that. It's too much. Um, a world record needs to be in a race, obviously, where everyone has an even playing field. In this case, Kipchoge has pacemakers and a car to maybe break a little bit of the wind and to have that laser on the ground for perfect pacing and like perfect nutrition, like people handing him bottles whenever he wants via the bike and the crowds around him. It's gonna be like, this is the moment for him to do it. Um, so this is not gonna be a world record, whatever happens on Saturday, which I completely agree with, but I'm about to throw down just a little bit and create a little bit of, a little bit of, um, um, a li I don't know, I wanna say tension, but a little bit of excitement for the future, okay? Here we go, Kipchoge. 5K PR, 12.46. 10K, 26.49. Marathon, 201.39. Bekele, 12.37. 26.17. 201.41, which Bekele from Ethiopia just set. Uh, and I know this, this vlog is not about Bekele, but how cool would it be? Let's get the, let's get the buzz going. Spread it on Twitter. How cool uh, in London, 2020. Bekele versus Kipchoge. Come on. I think we I think the world needs to see a Kipchoge versus Bekele throw down in the marathon in 2020. I'm gonna say London. I think that would be amazing. So anyway, just wanted to toss that out there. That is it, everyone. Keyword Vienna. Question of the day. I already asked, will Kipchoge break two hours? 
And if he does, what is going to be his time? If he does not, what is going to be his time? Can you believe it? It's here. I can't wait to high five everyone. Now I will be very focused on Saturday. If you're yelling at, if you're yelling my name and I'm like sprinting across the field to try and film, that's I'm just filming. I'm just but definitely yell my name. I'll come give you a quick high five. It's gonna be epic. Can't wait to see everyone in Vienna. I fly out on Thursday. Oh, you get me going. You get me going. Okay, that is it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, okay, we're gonna toss it back to the last time that we did the prediction for the Ineos 159 on the right. And then on the left, I'm gonna toss it back to when Kipchoge ran the London Marathon last spring. And I did a little vlog about his London Marathon effort. All right, love you guys. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.